The local economy revolution has arrived. What's changed and how you can help? Is your guide to understanding how the massive changes affecting our world are also changing what we need to do in our communities? How we make the places we care about healthier, more connected, more resilient, and more supportive of everyone. We've seen that changing our national direction depends on all of us playing an active role in bringing that change to reality. That's even more true in our local communities. Whether we're city professionals or simply people who care about the place where we live or work or enjoy our lives, we're often unsatisfied with the ineffectiveness of our existing programs and the ways that people in power try to solve problems. That is because the methods and the tools and the tricks that we've been using to address those issues in our communities for 50 years or more don't fit what we actually need them to do. They were designed for an industrial era world complete with strict hierarchies, command and control, assembly line type jobs, and levels of efficiency that you can only meet if you can be sure that everything will stay the same. But guess what? We can't assume that anymore. Even worse, the reason why we keep doing things the same way when they don't work is because we can't imagine alternatives. We're stuck in what science philosopher Thomas Kuhn called a paradigm, a set of unexamined, even unconscious assumptions about how things work. Our paradigms for how we take care of our communities are industrial era paradigms. And unless we see how those paradigms increasingly don't fit our reality, we can't make our communities better. We're stuck. Hey there, I'm Della Rucker, and I'm a 25-year veteran of trying to make our communities better under that old paradigm. I'm an urban planner and an economic developer, and I've worked with cities, rural places, downtowns, neighborhoods, and more across the United States. I have spent years trying to address both long-term challenges and new issues, and that's been my passion for decades. I focus on those issues because I had a front row seat for the first wave of the collapse of the Industrial Revolution. Growing up in the Rust Belt and watching my father and grandfather's small paint factory go under in the early 1980s gave me a jarring introduction to how macroeconomic issues can impact regular people's lives. And as I watched my father and parents all around me try to find new opportunities in that bleak landscape, I came to understand how crucial economic resilience is to enabling communities and their people to survive and thrive. Since leaving conventional planning and economic development work in 2015, I have been focused on not only understanding what we need to do differently, but also on putting that learning into action. I've worked on the bleeding edges of civic technology, experiential learning, small business, and entrepreneurship with collaborators that have ranged across the span of ages, races, and backgrounds. That experience gave me lessons, sometimes thrilling, sometimes brutally hard that I would have never found anywhere else. The local economy revolution has arrived, captures the big picture of the sea changes that are impacting our communities and lays the foundation for rethinking our approach in ways that help us begin to get beyond those old paradigms. This isn't a book for walks. I purposely wrote it to connect to our real lives, to make the complex stuff as simple as possible. Readers of the first version have described it as moving, fun, touching, 
insightful, and energizing. And I think you'll feel the same. I wrote this book because I believe that all of us have the power to make our communities more successful, more resilient, and more deserving of our love and our determination for all of us. I'm excited about what the next years are going to bring, and I hope this book helps us all get there. The Local Economy Revolution Has Arrived is available February 10th. You can pick it up in print or in digital. See the links on the next page to learn how to get your copy. So get the book and go get it. We can do this together. Thanks. The time to speak the truth frankly and boldly. Nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is Fear itself, nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance.